Ryan recently opened up about how he was not contacted to continue the upcoming season of the reality TV show featuring Gypsy Rose Blanchard. This revelation shines a spotlight on the troubling dynamics played out behind the scenes, especially considering how Ryan was involved in Gypsy's post-prison life. He was there, right by her side. But now, with the second season coming up, he finds himself pushed out of the picture. This wasn't a mere coincidence. It reeks of manipulation, something that Gypsy and her team seem to excel at. Gypsy's actions along with the support of her close circle, particularly her stepmother and her so-called team, have left Ryan completely out of the reality TV show's new direction. It's evident that the people closest to Gypsy, the very individuals who encourage her behavior, from Ryan's own words during his live seasons, it's clear that he feels betrayed. And frankly, who wouldn't? He spoke about how Gypsy and her team never contacted him for the next season, effectively cutting him out without explanation. Ryan wasn't just excluded. He was demeaned. His role reduced to almost nothing while Gypsy's story conveniently continued without him. They're filming another season of the show that I was on. Uh, I haven't been asked to be on the new season. But I hope that show goes on forever for personal reasons. Then there were the rumors that started swirling about two weeks ago. These rumors suggested that there might be something fishy about the upcoming season. The creator, Bree, mentioned Gypsy during a live stream, hinting at reality show but leaving out any direct answers. Gypsy's lack of clarity spoke volumes. Her refusal to give a straightforward answer about season 2 added to the speculation that maybe she was pulling the strings behind Ryan's exclusion. Gypsy's evasiveness came off as calculated, something we've seen from her time and time again. It makes you wonder, was she intentionally hiding the truth? Perhaps to keep control of her narrative and avoid questions about why Ryan, who played such a major role in her post-prison life, was suddenly absent. The more you dig into this, the more it looks like Gypsy had every intention to keep Ryan out of the spotlight. Is Gypsy Rose Blanchard filming for another Lifetime show? I think so, and here's why. So a few days ago, Gypsy was on her friend Bree's live stream. And during this live stream, Bree asks her, so when is season three? gonna come out oh when is when will season oh, and actually it's season three y'all so the document the, um the documentary was oh, whatever it was season one yeah so do you know when see oh okay so anyways when is season three gonna be i am contractually not able to oh. say you cannot say <laughs> you cannot even say if there will be a season three i cannot <laughs> speak on that but i think we don't know we don't know, know. it's in it's in there yeah so i don't even know what y'all talking about like what do we know right. do we know about what are you talking about Willis? <laughs> Shout out to Hello Star Like for that clip. Oh, looks like Brie made another whoopsie and said something she wasn't supposed to say on live stream. That plus, Gypsy just posted this picture of her and Ken on Instagram. And another TikTok creator on this app, Lottie, got this screenshot and posted in her video. And someone commented, y'all filmed right by us. We were so excited to see you. So it looks like there's going to be another season of Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup. Reflecting on the previous season, it's easy to see how Ryan was mistreated throughout. He was portrayed as someone who was there for Gypsy, supportive and loyal, yet behind the scenes, he was constantly belittled. His presence minimized. Gypsy's team, comprising her stepmother, her father, and even people like Bree, seemed determined to undermine Ryan at every turn. During the show, Ryan was shown being excited to pick Gypsy up from prison, talking about building a life together. But what did Gypsy do? She mocked him, and her disinterest was evident. Seen at the hotel where Ryan talked about their first night together, Gypsy, instead of embracing the moment, was more interested in her McDonald's fries. It wasn't just the lack of interest, it was the underlying contempt. Ryan was treated like an accessory, someone who was only around to serve her purpose in the moment. He was always in the picture, even when he wasn't physically there. Gypsy would constantly talk about him, dropping hints that she wasn't over him, which made things even more difficult for Ryan. The fact that Gypsy's stepmother still kept in contact with Ken, and even encouraged Gypsy to do the same, speaks volumes about toxic environment Ryan had to deal with. What happened? Uh, Gypsy came to talk to you. Yes. Um, Christy has continued conversation with Ken. He's been reaching out to her just to ask questions and things like that because Gypsy has blocked his number, has refused contact, has chose to move on with her life. And now that she's out of prison, he's like trying to weasel his way back in. And Christy has continued to allow that door, like she keeps cracking that door open. 
I'm mad at Christy over this because it's like, what are you doing? What is the point? This wasn't just a case of complicated love triangle. It was a deliberate attempt by Gypsy and her team to keep Ryan insecure and under control. The reality show exposed Ryan's vulnerability. Well, Gypsy seemed to revel in it. So I knew that he would get a little ticked off at Christy. Um, he got a little ticked off at me too when I told him that I started to get all emotional. And I'm like, what do you expect? Like, does it uh, break my heart a little bit to learn that Ken left me because he thought he was doing the right thing for, for me at the time? Yeah, of course it broke my heart. And of course his reaction was like, well, if you want to go be with him, then go be with him. Where well, Gypsy threw out all of Ryan's food while he was at work showed her need to assert dominance. Ryan came home to find his fridge empty, the food he had bought and carefully saved thrown away, with no regard for his efforts. Gypsy's message was clear. She was in charge and she didn't care about his feelings. It's these small acts that reveal a lot about her character. Controlling, dismissive and completely uninterested in treating Ryan as an equal partner. Ken's re-entry into Gypsy's life marked a significant turning point. The flirtatious comments and constant reminders of what could have been with Ken. All of this was Gypsy's way of keeping Ryan off balance. She never made a true commitment to Ryan, not emotionally and definitely not the way she presented herself publicly. Her behavior was a classic case of trying to have her cake and eat it too. Keeping Ryan around for stability, while entertaining thoughts of rekindling things with Ken. A couple days ago, went to the bedroom, well, crying up, I said, I need to tell you something. He said, I'm asleep. I said, I miss Ken. He must have woke up quick. He did, and he was like, you need to let that go. You need to let him go. You are married. And I'm like, I know I am, but I think that we both need to come to terms with the fact that I have two men in my heart. And he's still there in my heart. This is the day before Valentine's Day. The worst part, Gypsy's team enabled it all. The stepmother, who always seemed to favor Ken, played a significant role in making Ryan feel like he was the less than. The support she gave to Ken while undermining Ryan all contributed to making Ryan's time on the show nothing short of humiliating. This wasn't a family supporting their loved one's spouse. This was a family actively working to replace him. And now, with a new season on the horizon, Ryan isn't even invited back. He revealed during his life that no one reached out to him, and that's telling. It's not just about Gypsy wanting to move on, it's about control, about rewriting her narrative without Ryan. Gypsy always seemed to need someone to be the villain, someone to blame for her struggles. In the past, it was her mother, and now it appears that Ryan is being painted as the next disposable character in her story. The upcoming season, as we've heard through Bree's hints, is said to focus heavily on Gypsy's pregnancy and the dramatic new chapter of her life. What's telling is how this focus on her pregnancy seems almost designed to wipe away the past, to make viewers forget the way Ryan was treated, the betrayals, and the manipulation. It's almost like she's trying to draw attention away from the broken relationships she left in her wake. Ryan's exclusion from the show isn't just about cutting ties. It's about Gypsy curating her image, making sure she can control how the world sees her. The rumors around her pregnancy, her evasive responses about what's coming next, it's all part of her need to dominate the narrative. Gypsy doesn't want anyone around who might challenge her, who might offer a different version of events. And Ryan who could speak to the way he was treated, the real dynamics that unfolded behind the scene was clearly a threat to her new storyline. On his part, expressed interest in continuing in the reality TV space. Despite the hurt, despite the mistreatment, he remains hopeful about being part of another project, possibly one where he isn't constantly undermined or treated like a side character in his own life. This speaks to his resilience, something that wasn't always showcased during his time with Gypsy. He's made it clear that he's not backing down from sharing his side of the story. And honestly, 
Why should he? Ryan has every right to be part of the narrative, to share his experiences and to tell the truth about what really happened. He hinted that he would love to feature in a reality show that actually respects him. A refreshing change from what he endured with Gypsy. His strength and willingness to move forward, even after everything, deserves recognition. In looking at everything that has happened, from the way Ryan was sidelined to the calculated manner in which Gypsy and her team worked to erase him, it's hard not to see the the manipulative streak that runs deep in Gypsy's actions. This isn't just about moving from a relationship. It's about crafting a version of events where she's always in control, always coming out on top. The way she's cut Ryan out, the way she treated him throughout their relationship, shows a consistent pattern, using people until they are no longer useful, and then discarding them without a second thought. I think that there is a sense of freedom of following your heart, um, following what you feel like is right for you. And in my marriage, I felt like a part of me was lost in it. And so I feel like I found that missing piece of myself that I always felt was you know, lost. And now reclaiming that back, I definitely feel a sense of, of belonging in that space. I did love Ryan. Ryan and I spent three years of a relationship together. It was just a different love than I have for Ken. As we move into the next season, it's crucial to remember the people left in Gypsy's wake. Those she had manipulated and discarded. Ryan's story is a testament to her true character. Someone willing to do whatever it takes to maintain control and protect her image. Even if it means hurting those who once loved her. The truth about Gypsy is slowly unraveling. And it's time we stop buying into her carefully curated version of events and started seeing the real story behind the scenes.